Morning everyone, just out here doing my daily. Put the turkeys out, let them go with them wandering around. Gonna relocate them today. They seem very excited. Pig day, piglets are arriving today. So we got to do some things. I'm going to make a hay bale winter pig shelter. Let's see how it works. I just found it on Pinterest. So let's we'll see how it works. So first thing we gotta do is get all these tarps up, get all these T-posts out, um, get all this stuff out. This is where the winter pigs are gonna be. Um, for the most part, I gotta re-secure this fence a little bit. Um, I'm gonna put the shelter right there. And this is where they're gonna be. So I just need to secure this up a little bit more and uh, should work. I mean, they're pigs. So this way they got a tree, they're going to tear this whole area up so we can have it for our garden next year. The chickens have already had their made their way with it. So we're going to pull all this stuff up today, get all this taken care of. And then uh, later I'm going to go get our piglets and the hay stuff or the hay bales so I can make the hay shelter. So stick along with me and uh, let's get some stuff done. Okay, so I worked diligently at this. It's my hay pig house. Remember, I'm getting piglets. So a little small, keep the heat in, life will be good. Ripped up all the tarp that we put down for our garden. They're gonna have fun tearing that up. I built a pig feeder here. Just two pallets put together in between two posts, screwed it together. <clears throat> excuse me and then the water is in the corner my goal is to be able to come out here feed and water them without having to trudge through too much snow so we'll see how this works i'm not quite sure how that water is going to work but we'll see i may uh i may use the other half of this as a water um and give them fresh water like five gallons every day during the winter so it doesn't freeze so i haven't quite figured that out yet so but this is what it looks like. I put more, teep, or more cedar posts in. I just kind of secure this fence because this is just regular like garden garden fence. So I didn't use all the hay that I got, but I used most of it. So that's what it looks like. It's just scrap wood that I had laying around and hay bales that I got from a friend of mine. And <clears throat> hopefully it works. I still have to put the tarp over the top, um, but I don't have to do that right away. I can wait for that. So now I gotta pick everything up, grab a snack, and go get piglets. Okay, a few days later, this is our pig shelter. You can see the little piglets back there. Jackson, what? wave. Hi. So they've been active. They're back there right now. He's gonna go see if he can stir them up real quick. We got a lot of rain. Say hi, bagel. We got a lot of rain the other day. A lot. Plus wind. Their feeder's overfilled. I got to drill holes in that. See if I can get that drained. But so far, so good. There's four piglets in there. And you can see they're pretty active. There's one. Don't stir them up too bad, bud. So we're going to run four piglets in here this winter. See how it goes. <coughs> Excuse me. The cold mornings get me with my allergies. So you can see he's pretty active. So we're gonna run four piglets in here this winter, see how it goes. And if it goes well, then every year we'll probably do a few here and there. But the the issue is gonna be the snow load. You know, we're supposed to have a, a rough winter this year with snow. So we'll see what we'll see how it goes. But so far, they're doing good. So you can see these guys are just a little itty bitty. They're only probably a month old or so. So give them some feed with some dewormer in it. I really like these piglets that I get 
from the farm that I get them from because they're very usually very tame they're easy to handle so if we sit in here long enough they'll come right up to us and they'll hang out with us right buddy Jackson's trying to get their food all unwatered so it's not ideal to give them feed on the ground but so far this is all they're going after well we had a piglet get out then did you get did we get the piglet So Piglet got out, got out from underneath the back part of the fence, which I didn't realize there was a gap. So I kind of put a piece of plywood up and some T-posts and kind of blocked that in, got the Piglet back in, and then it started pouring. So we are hanging out in the camper and getting dry, but I just wanted to show you guys what the Piglet hut thing was that I made out of hay. Hopefully it holds up, we'll keep doing uh, updates, but we're gonna hang out here, get, get dry, and then uh, we got some cleaning up to do in the yard. So I uh, hope you like this video. Hit the subscribe button, share it. Get everybody, uh, share it with your friends. Let everyone know what we're doing. So uh, I will see you on the next video. There you go.